Hello kids, welcome to mom and daughter's creations. In today's video, let's learn about solar system. But what is solar system? The solar system is the sun and all objects that orbit around it. The sun is orbited by planets, asteroids, comets and other things. This means that the sun is the main head and all objects like planets, asteroids, comets and other things move around the sun. Now let's study about these things like asteroids, comets, planets etc in detail. First let's see about planets. Sun. The sun is the center of the solar system. The sun is also regarded as the head of the solar family. The size of the center line of the sun is a hundred times larger than earth. The distance of the sun to earth is about 150 million kilometers. So imagine how far the earth must be from sun but still we receive so much of sunlight and so much of heat. The distance of the sun to earth is called an astronomical unit. The time it takes for sunlight to get to earth is 8.33 minutes which means 8 minutes 33 seconds. The sun is a huge ball of fire. It is made up of many hot gases mainly helium and hydrogen. First planet Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is also the smallest planet in our solar system. This makes the temperature on Mercury very hot. It is only 27% the size of the Earth. Mercury takes only 88 days to circle the Sun which means it only takes 88 days to revolve around the Sun. Mercury rotates within 59 days. Means it takes 59 days to complete one full rotation. And Mercury has no moons. Venus Venus is the closest planet to Earth. The distance between Venus and the Sun is about 108 million kilometers. One day there is equals to 243 days on Earth, which means one day on Venus or one rotation of Venus is 243 days. So long, right? Thus, just as Mercury was revolutionizing Venus faster than its rotational rotation. Venus spins and rotates in the opposite direction of the Earth and most of the other planets. It spins from east to west instead of west to east. And let me tell you a fun fact. Venus is almost the same size as Earth and therefore it is regarded as Earth's twin and Venus has no moons. Earth the place where we are living right now. The third planet in the solar system is Earth and it is the only planet that is lived by living things in the solar system. The moon, the Earth's natural satellite has a motion around the Earth with a lap time of 29.5 days. The Earth has a rotation period of about 23 hours 56 minutes but for our convenience we consider it as 24 hours and the earth has a revolution period of 365 days and 6 hours. The earth is 150 million kilometers far away from the sun and the earth is also considered as the blue planet because two thirds of the earth's surface is covered with water and so it looks blue from the outer space. Mars is the closest planet to earth. At night, we sometimes see a brilliant star that glows red. So, do you know what that is? It is Mars. The planet has a diameter of approximately 6,800 kilometers or about half of the diameter of Earth. The rotation period of Mars is 24 hours 37 minutes and the revolution period is 687 days. Mars has two satellites or you can say two moons that is Deimos and Phobos lower than those on Earth. Mars is also known as the red planet but do you know why we call it as red planet? It is because of the presence of iron minerals on the planet which makes the soil and the atmosphere look red. Jupiter 
Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It can be thousand times the size of our planet Earth. So imagine how large, how big it could be, but not comparable to the magnitude. The weight of the Jupiter is only two and a half times that of Earth. It means that Jupiter is not comparable on the basis of capacity as compared to Earth because the weight of Jupiter is only two and a half times that of Earth. which means that earth weighs more than jupiter the jupiter has the fastest rotation it only takes 10 hours which means that one day on jupiter is equal to 10 hours on earth while the evolution took a very long time which is about 12 years do you know jupiter has 53 named moons and another 26 are awaiting for the official names and in the year 1979 jupiter's faint ring system was discovered saturn the sixth planet in the solar system is unique surrounded by rings formed from millions of pieces of ice saturn's distance from the sun is about 1.4 billion kilometers the revolution is about 30 years while the rotation period is about 10.5 hours saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system it has 82 moons with 53 known moons and an additional 29 moons awaiting for confirmation uranus it is a planet far from the sun it consists of main gases in the form of hydrogen methane and helium and consists ice it is an ice giant it is about 4 times wider than our planet earth and the uniqueness of this planet is that its rotation is different from the earth because uranus rotates like a bay blade like venus uranus also rotates from east to west as a result one side of the planet continuously experiences day for 42 years while the other side constantly experiences night for 42 years uranus takes 84 earth years for one complete revolution and it takes 17 hours 14 minutes for one spin around its axis uranus has 27 moons and 13 known rings neptune The conditions on Neptune are not much different from Uranus consisting of gas. Neptune is an ice giant. It has 14 moons. 1 year on Neptune is equals to 165 years on Earth, which means that Neptune takes 165 Earth years to revolve around the sun. While 1 day there are about 16 hours on Earth, which means that 1 day on Neptune is equals to 16 hours on Earth. Moon simply put the moon is a celestial body that moves around the planet according to its orbital line which is referred to as earth's satellite the moon is earth's only satellite the average distance from earth to moon is about 3 lakhs 83000 kilometers just like the earth the moon also makes a revolution movement against earth and the sun The moon takes 27 days and 8 hours to complete one revolution around the earth. And do you know the moon has no light of its own. The moonlight that you see is the light of the sun reflected by the moon. Pluto, dwarf planet. But what do you mean by dwarf planet? The defining requirements of a dwarf planet are almost the same as the definition of a planet. The difference is those dwarf planets are not the dominant objects in their orbits and not satellites, celestial bodies orbiting planets. Did you know till August 2006 Pluto was also considered as a planet. However, in the meeting of International Astronomical Union, Pluto was stripped of its planet status and was classified as a dwarf planet. This is because it has not cleared the neighborhood around its orbit which means it is it has become gravitationally dominant and shares its orbital space with other bodies of its similar size.